Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Hey, see, I've got that old, that older um, Cubex printer, that 3D printer that I've been playing with for a while, and this one is actually a loner. This is, this is like the new one that I'm getting, only a lot smaller. And the gentleman who was building the new you know, machine for me brought this one over just as kind of a loner to play with, you know, figure out how the new software works, and, and just you know, get my mind wrapped around this style of printer as opposed to the, the old style of printer. What do you mean, style? Well, you, just, you see the way this one's working. Uh, you know, with the big tall arms on it, with the, the carriages, you know, that kind of go up and down, and the way the thing just kind of moves back and forth, you know, it kind of works in like a triangle. Whereas my old printer, my Cube X, you know, it, it works, you know, basically in, in uh, you know, fore and aft and left and right, you know, the table moves up and down. You know, this one, the table is actually fixed, so the whole head moves up and down, but instead of just going from side to side and front to back, you know, this one kind of works in like a little triangle that works in circles. You know, it, it works, it's, a, it's a much more, I, I think it's more precise, really. You know, I, I've printed out a couple of little pieces. <clears throat> yeah, this is one I printed out last night with it. It's amazingly fast compared to my old printer. You know, it, it did this in, uh, uh, I think it was three hours, where my other machine, you know, my, my Cubex machine, it, it was going to take it about 18 hours to print this out. You know, if that was only half of the speed that this one is capable of running at, you know, see, we could turn this thing up even higher and, and get it to really sling some plastic around. The new machine, the big machine, the one that's 34 inches in diameter and will print, print up to 60 inches tall, you know, that's the size of the voice, God for Christ's sake. We, you know, if I could scan her, I could print another one of her. Ooh, I could sell those. <laughs> I'm being replaced! You're being replaced, yeah. <laughs> no, but the, you know, the new machine's going to be about 40 inches across, and it's going to be 8 feet tall. So it's just going to fit in the corner of the room over there, but boy, it's going to print out some really nice sized pieces. Why would you print at half speed? Well, for the detail. You know, the, the slower it prints, the, the higher the detail is. You know, now, the new machine, uh, if I remember right, it can print up to 300 millimeters a minute. You know, that's about two feet a minute whipping around there. You know, they're going to actually put doors on it just to keep your hand out of there in case you happen to reach in and this thing starts moving because it'll give you a quick smack if you get your hand in there. You know, some of the cool features on this thing, though, uh, you know, the extruded aluminum, you know, machining, uh, these are actually, the, the, the corner pieces on this machine are actually printed on another 3D printer. On the new machine, they're going to be done, you know, on a CNC mill. So it's all, all cut out and machined out of, out of aluminum. Um, all of the electronics are buried down in the bottom of this one. This is cool because it's got a heated tray where my Cubex doesn't. So like when you're printing with, uh, with like ABS, plastic, as opposed to the PLA, which is a cornstarch based plastic. But the ABS, it likes a heated tray to help keep it all kind of at one temperature because if you print on a on an unheated tray like my other one, or it gets cold as it's printing, it wants to pull. It wants to shrink and pull up off of the off of the, the, the print tray. So you know, with a heated tray, it helps keep stuck. You know, there helps keep it down. It helps keep it stuck. You know. No, this is actually not product placement. <laughs> uh, my Cubex, you use like a um, like a glue stick. You know, it, it's kind of like uh, you know Elmer's mixed with water. So it's a little, it's a little runny, but not too bad. You just kind of smear it on there, and that's how the plastic sticks to that plastic print tray that's in there. With this one, this is glass. You just use a little hairspray. You know, just you just give it a little 
just a little on there, just a light little dusting on the on the print tray, and that holds it for. You know, I've done I've done three prints already, and I've only put this on once. Boy, it just it just sticks right on there. But you know, when you run your hand over it, it's not all sticky, slimy. You know, it's not like it's going to gather dust or anything. No, this is the little drive roller, you know, the, the the feed roller that feeds the the filament off the spool. Or down through the little Bowden tube and then down into the print head itself, where, like on the other machine, they're all buried up in the top. You know, just a little different arrangement, different way to do it, but, you know, it's simple, it's clean, it works pretty good. Uh, you know, the software is a lot different from what I'm used to. You know, a lot more adjustability in it. You know, I can actually pause it, change colors, or just, you know, if I run out of, run out of filament, I can pause it in the middle of the print, put new filament in it, feed it in, and it'll pick right back up where it left off. Where with the other machine, it won't even print if you run if you run low. You know, the computer in that one will look at the cartridge and say, "You don't have enough. I won't I won't even do the job." But you know, as far as like changing colors and midstream, well, that one won't let you do it at all. So the cool thing with this machine is, it's all open source. So. You can find these plans on the internet, you know, or, or you can go talk to these guys right here. You know, they sell kits, or like they're doing with me, they're building my machine, so you know, they'll do that. They'll build the whole machine and send it to you. So after about three hours of printing, which is maybe a quarter of the time that it would have taken my Cubex printer to do this piece, <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's finally done here, so it's just a little click on the home button, you know, that gets the print head up out of the way, and then I just have to go in and break that thing loose from the print tray. Just pop it loose, just like that. Were you yeah. cutting on the support? Well, I, I was... I would just I caught it right on the edge of the little support web that's built into it right here to support this part of the of the sculpture where it kind of overhangs. You know, and anything over about 40 degrees or so, it'll build this little crib underneath there. This little this little support web underneath it as it's starting to make that turn over the top. It builds this little web and then it helps support it as it's because the, you know, the hot plastic is cooling, and then it'll be a finished maquette, if you will, you know, just a little bit of a you know, little model where I can actually see, okay, you know, is the proportion correct? You know, will it actually stand up on its own? You know, once I take this extra little bit out of here, you know, is, is the piece actually centered correctly? You know, will it stand up? If not, I can always go back into the CAD and Pull it a little, stretch it a little, you know, make make it a little more upright, you know, rather than off side, off center, to make it stand upright. You know, it really just pops right off. So it was just held by this tiny little bit up in this area. And you can see it's all smooth down in this area. It just took a little pressure with my thumb and it just popped right off itself, but you know. So there's the finished piece, you know, the finished maquette, if you will, other than a little rough surface on it. And lo and behold, it does stand up on its own. So, you know, that there's a there's a maquette for a finished sculpture, if you will. You know, and that just kind of a proof of concept. You know, the design is right, the balance is right, you know, the the proportions are right. Now making it out of steel. Thank you for watching. If you get the chance, click on that subscribe button down there. And don't forget to come out to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to sit and look at this one for a while and try to figure out where to go from here. I'll see you all next time. The miracle of Video editing. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs>